Hi guys, welcome to this full review about this Excitus Nitro Charge 120 Pro 120. That's because it has around 120 watts maximum power in total. I mean, in detail, it's 120 three watts in total and the maximum single port output is 100 watts on the USB-C like PD. It comes in this box. We get also really nice USB-C or C to C charging cable. That's the one here. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff here which I'm going to use for testing. I'm going to do a couple of different tests with this device and here's the instructions manual maybe it helps you a little bit let's say if you have both used or you just lost instructions or so i hope it's focusing nicely so you can read everything but it's not difficult i mean basically we have these three ports we have uh, one button here on the side and we have one display i mean in general it's a very large thick heavy uh, sturdy device definitely i mean it's uh, the most powerful uh, product which they have they have a couple of different items uh, with lower power i think one with 30 or 40 watts or so this is the top of the line and it's nicely coated with this premium fabrics here it looks really nice I mean, for me, it's a little bit uh, an understatement here. I mean, it's super powerful. And uh, with this design, yeah, for me, it's a little bit of an understatement. But of course, it's personal preference. So again, here we have the one button to turn it on or off or reactivate or whatever you have to do. And then we have the USB-A output. And we have the PD out with 45 watts. And then we have a USB-C PD input and output with 100 watts. It's really nice that it's described here. And here on the side, we have the display which shows the charge and also gives some other indications. I mean, we can also turn it into some low power charging device, especially for Bluetooth items like uh, earbuds or so when it's on and we push two times here and miss the button it goes into this low power mode where we have this blinking percentage icon if we wait for three hours it would go back into normal mode but we can uh, push two times again it will go into normal mode again when it's charging with high power uh, input or output i think then it will show a flash like steady flash and when it's wireless charging like with this watch here then we see this flashing light you can i hope you can see that here flashing light while it's charging wireless by the way the wireless charge yeah it works i would say at least definitely with this watch pretty reliable it is 10 watts but it is not like super strong penetrating thick cases or charging uh, very thick rugged outdoor phones or so something like that i mean here i have this very thick rugged outdoor phone and sometimes it's very difficult to charge this wirelessly i have found a couple of chargers where it works but with a lot of chargers it doesn't work at all and so there's no difference here you can put it everywhere doesn't matter it won't start to charge but i guess with every normal standard uh, thin phone uh, it shouldn't be a problem we have also these magnets here built in I think it's called MagSafe or something like that where they have a couple of magnets and this will then help to secure like a phone on top of it so you can just clip it on it without having to secure it with like with a strap or something like that you just put it here uh, this works with the newest iPhones but it's also available for like Samsung UI or so with additional cases as far as I know so it can work for a lot of different brands but I don't but unfortunately I don't have such thing but you can see it works really good usually it starts automatically I mean you can turn off the power bank completely when you press for three seconds then it will totally turn off usually when you're not using it for 30 seconds then it will go into like uh, some sleep mode and then if you start doing something it will wake up automatically but not when it's totally off so we have turned it off here fully and we uh, plug it in here and then yeah it still turns on automatically yeah, i don't see a big difference between just standby and off mode so first we are testing this usb a output so let's start this here let's see how much power we have 
4 watts and I'm increasing the maximum is around 15 watts so let's see what happens when we cross this line by the way what's also important of course to know how much voltage we get so let's switch to the volts and we can see a straight 5 volts this is also a very good sign a lot of power banks when we pull so much power they would go down to close to 4 volts and here we are still at 5 volts that's uh, very impressive you see even more than 3 amps and a straight 15 watts and when we increase even more uh, then we see it has a nice overcurrent protection it stops immediately and then we have to go down a little bit and we can restart it here with the button and so when we turn it down to a normal level we can easily restart it again works really good and safe but on higher voltage like on 12 volts like here we can pull even out up to 18 watts so let's start this here let's go to the watts and now we are at 15, 16, 17, 18, easily and also the voltage holding up nicely at 12.3, absolutely perfect and let's see when it stops, 20, yeah we can go even higher, yeah that's crazy, 25, yeah I stopped this here, it's not intended to provide such high uh, power here on this uh, port. And let's test the first USB-C output, the one here in the middle, which is only output and should provide up to 45 watts output. And that's the result here. We can see quick charge 2.0, 3.0, even 4.0 somehow. And definitely PD 3.0 with maximum 45 watts output. And then same test on the high power output uh, USB-C port here and you can see it says uh, yeah also quick charge 2.0 3.0 and PD up to 100 watts and it's not only claiming that in the protocol readings we can also go and test this so let's go to 20 volts here we are at uh, 20 volts which is the maximum and I've prepared a load test with 100 watts and so let's start this here and we can see it's confirming 100 watts or exactly yeah, you can see sometimes it's a little bit above sometimes it's a little bit below it's definitely delivering 100 watts real high power so I stop this thing here because that's the maximum uh, load peak and so it became uh, crazy hot here and so I had to stop this. Yeah, that's the first power bank which brought me up to the maximum peak power of this USB tester. And here's another very important test. That's the pass-through charging test. And we can see, we can activate that. We have power here on the output uh, while we are actually charging this power bank from the outside. This is something which not a lot of power banks or supporting only very powerful very advanced power banks and this is definitely capable to do that and now we are already approaching our last test and it's a tough one we are going to pull out all the power which is inside with 50 watts power until it's fully drained and, and so i expect the test to last about 30 minutes or so yeah it didn't start yeah so sometimes really when it goes into some kind of standby or or, uh, idle mode or so just push here and then it should start immediately and so here we can see everything we are at 20 volts pulling 2.5 amps and so we let it run till it stops so we are at the end of the testing and uh, yeah it took a little bit longer than expected my bad I did the calculation a little bit wrong I forgot to convert the uh, milliamps into milliwatt hours and the result is 73,000 milliwatt hours and in the listing and here in the instructions they are talking about 92,000 uh, milliwatt hours or about 25,600 milliamp hours 
uh, this is the specs. Uh, of course, we know that these devices, they never reach this goal because the power has to be converted into 20 volts, which of course uh, causes uh, more loss than just translating or converting it into 5 volts from 3.7, 3.8 volts or so. So it's no surprise that uh, the amount here is only 73,000 milliwatt hours uh, instead of 92,000. And also also when we convert the milliamp hours uh, into 5 volts that would be 4 times uh, this amount I mean I'm not using the calculator but I guess it will be around 15,000 so it is well above 50% uh, of this what they are saying at 3.7 volts which is definitely a good result so as my rule of thumb we can always say when it's above 50 percent then we are talking about a good quality power bank and of course we were expecting this at this price so no surprise and they have been delivering what's really good as well is that it didn't overheat i mean i've been pulling 50 watts out of this small power bank uh, for one and a half hours and it doesn't have like any openings any ventilation uh, there's no heat sink there's no nothing and it got warm but not really hot so this seems to be very efficient here inside high quality so no doubt that this is really nicely built good quality so i can highly recommend it and i'll put down the link to the listing down into the description so you can check it out and load it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you next time